The funny things about growing up different is that before you knew you were different, other kids told you that you were different. The first time I realized I was different was actually at home life and the kind of expectations my parents had for me. When I was three years old, and I remember trying on one of my sister's dresses. I think it was my dad like pulling it off of me. I remember I would always lock myself in my grandmother's room, and then there was always this one red lipstick. Picked it up one day, just drew it all over my lips. I also knew that it was something that I was ashamed of or I would get scolded for. In grade school, it was really like, yeah, the dichotomy between being in America and then being in Korea and then just really not fitting in in either places. My identity is always something that excited me. And it made me pretty sad to see other Asian Americans not be so prideful or informed on where they're from. Some people look at me and say, oh, are you, uh, you're non-binary, you're genderqueer, are you trans? All these labels and, and frankly, I don't know. But what I do know is the way I'm expressing myself, it all feels right, it feels correct. My femininity wasn't something that I had to be ashamed of, uh, that it was actually a source of strength. I didn't think that I would be able to be in a community where we're all queer, POC, or, or Asian. I honestly didn't imagine that growing up. There was a pop star, and I remember when I first saw her on TV. There I finally first saw, wow, there's a trans, Korean trans woman who's going through the psych psychological issues as I am. What was the pinnacle of my life that really changed where I decided to transition? This Korean idea of like, we're all one, one blood, one family, one people. And I think that's really toxic. When I came to New York, just the idea that I can be my own person was really liberating. Being queer in dance and being queer in music and really just expressing all those different facets, whether it's doing it through glam or it's doing it through my lyrics or doing it through, a, through Vogue. I don't want to really put myself just in like a box. Because if you have an idea of who someone is, you're not actually getting to know them for them. You're just projecting yourself on them, what your limited understanding of them is. Something that has really helped me come to terms with my own brain and my body is to just really believe that you're enough. To those that are struggling with their identity, I think the best cure is love and finding a good support team that will not judge you, be honest with you, and guide you in the right path. If you find beauty in yourself, the world will follow suit. If they don't, that's their own problem. Innately, we have a strong desire to feel belonged and being femme, being queer, being Asian. But eventually, people will find you. Eventually, you will find your tribe. You will find yourself.